Hello YouTube, this is going to be a product comparison with two audio products that look very similar but in fact are very different. Guess the real, guess the fake. This of course is what appears to be two iPod shuffles um, but in fact this is a real iPod shuffle. Um, one gig second generation iPod and this is not a shuffle, it is a micro US or micro um, SD card reader with a micro USB charging port. This one's slightly thicker. The design is almost the same in terms of the button configuration. Feels very similar in terms of clicking the device. This one of course feels cheap because it's made of plastic. This one of course is made of aluminium. And let's have a look at these products in a little bit more detail. This is the uh, order form uh, from Amazon. You can see the price of this is a ridiculous £2.68, all in all, including post and packaging. Now, this arrived with this, frankly, ridiculous English um, <laughs> leaflet, and it's just absolutely hilarious. It's got a picture of a guy being strangled with a hand coming out of computer screen. No idea what that's all about. Something about trolling. It's just ridiculous. And if you actually look at the um, site on Amazon, it's, it's hilarious how it's, it's just terrible English. Um, but anyway, back to the products. Um, iPod Shuffle, I think most of you will be familiar with. Um, the charging port is, of course, through the headphone jack. Um, you've got your on off switch and your shuffle continuous playback switch there. Um, this device has an on off switch just there, um, headphone jack, micro USB charging port and a place for your micro, S US your micro SD card just there. It only plays MP3s, apparently I've not actually tried this yet, I've literally just got it today. And let's have a go, let's see if we can turn this product on. So. Yeah, it actually lights up. Um, like I said, I'll just try the audio and get back to you in a second. These are the headphones supplied with the device, or the earphones rather, and yes, they are a complete copy of Apple headphones. Um, why they want to copy those pretty dreadful in-ear headphones that Apple supplies with its MP3 products, I'm not quite sure, but let's have a look and see what they're like. So sorry about that, I just turned the recording off to unbutton on pack the device. So let's try and slot these headphones in. And of course, let's lift that properly in to really force it. And of course we need a micro USD um, USB card. Or a micro SD card, bloody hell. Uh, just bear the one sec and I should get one. So here we have a little uh, 8 gig. SanDisk card. Now there are um, Windows Media Audio um, lossless and lossy files on this as well as uh, some WAV files. It's actually from my old phone or from my phone, it's my old card. I've got it replaced for a 32 gig model. Let's just see if we can slot this in and get anything out of it whatsoever. I'm just going to pop you down for a closer look. Again, apologies for the gorilla style. Now, there's no clear way of how to actually pop this in. It seems to be the most logical route. So that's in. We have a, a light, a red light. If it will play, we'll find out. And that's a no. <laughs> so there's nothing coming out of the device now. It does say to actually charge up for three hours before use. And apparently you only get two hours out of it. Um, but no, there's nothing coming out of it right now. Let's just see. Oh, oh, yes, we have audio. Just see what it sounds like. Again, these headphones are really crappy. You can always replace them. But yeah, we actually have a working device. Yeah, that's a bit of Cat Stevens. Let's 
sure what this is. Oh, it's Scorpions the Zoo. It seems to be playing them in any kind of order. That's Heart. Bit more Heart. That's Giorgio Moroder. That's the Lion Maiden. So yeah, the device seems to work pretty well. Um, again, this product, um, the brand new one, which is the 4 gig version they have now, um, was £40 when released, and I think it's still £40, that's its price point. This product is £2.68, including postage and packing. Um, so there you go, pay your money, take your choice. This, of course, is a, much, uh, is a far superior product in terms of its design and... Um, function obviously uses iTunes but it is limited to one gig whereas this product the one big selling point is the fact that it's um, well virtually unlimited memory really you know um, having a, these kind of um, swappable uh, SD cards you can take up to 32 gig whatever you can get hold of um, the one big disadvantage with this product of course although it looks like a shuffle there's no shuffle function on the device, which is kind of bizarre. So what you have to do is actually select the or put this USD, USB card into a computer and pick a playlist, which is kind of what the um, playlist feature is on this device. But there's no shuffle feature whatsoever, which is a big disappointment. But then again, you know, two pound sixty-eight all in versus forty. Hmm. It's very easy to say do the math, but I've got to say I think I'll probably still use this device simply because of the shuffle feature and its build quality and that's a really crappy plastic clip compared to this nice solid metal clip. Um, again, they both light up um, just to let you know that they're actually on. This one has this kind of horrible red LED kind of shoved behind a plastic backing and then you've got this little tiny LED light just to let you know that you switch the device on on the shuffle. But there you have it. iPod shuffle, cheap uh, USB card, or your micro SD card, knockoff. You decide.